it's Amanda, and I'm coming to you with a swatching video. Now, we're not going to swatch all of these inks, but we're going to swatch a ton of them because I went ahead and I haven't been buying pen stuff. Like, I can't, I was going to say I can't remember the last time I bought pen stuff, but I think the last time I bought pen stuff was when the Twisby Jade and the uh, Sailor New Jersey and Oklahoma inks came out. That's the last time I bought anything pen related. Um, but I... I've been doing some adulting and so I have been taking care of other things and haven't had really much pen money to speak of but um, I came into some or I had a little extra cash and decided that I was going to um, splurge on some samples that I've been wanting. Um, I also picked up Van Ness was selling the ink vent bottles individually so I picked up a couple bottles of Tempest because I don't know if Diamine's going to release them or when they're going to release them, but I freaking love this ink and if I if I run out, I'm going to be really sad. So I ended up getting a couple bottles of that. Um, I think they were like $4 or $4.50. Um, yeah, so I, I picked up a couple of those. I'm not sure what stock they have left. I just got this yesterday. Um, um, yeah, so anyway, what we're going to actually swatch is the Van Diemen's inks that I got because I got samples of their new night series, but I had a bunch of other stuff, so I thought I'd show off the vials. Um, we have Dusk. That's one of the ones we'll be swatching today. I picked up a sample of Robert Oster Muddy Swamp, which I'll swatch at a later time. This is Van Diemen's Blackened Seas. This is another one. Um, what we're going to do with the Van Diemen's ones is I'm going to swatch the inks. Well, I'll talk about that in a second. Um, we have Aurora Australis, which is a Van Diemen's ink. Also picked up a sa sample of Conklin. I think they're called Vintage Inks. Um, Dusty Rose. And a sample of Twilight Mist. This is the Night Series, but this was in their previous Midnight Series. So, um, yeah. So, what I really want to do is, because some of these, like Blackened Seas and Twilight Mist, are reformulations, I want to compare them to the old swatches that I have. Uh, just to see how they, if they're different or whatever. We have Van Diemen's Moonflower. I think there are 12 Van Diemen's things. I don't remember. Van Diemen's Night Owl. Some of these in the series are new and some are reformulations of um, previous inks that they've had. Uh, Van Diemen's Red Lightning. This one looks really pretty. I know they had a shimmery red uh, called Ruby Slippers within, from the Hollywood series, which they discontinued. Um, so I'm glad that they brought one back. Then we have Golden Orb Web, which is another yellowy shimmer. So we'll see how this compares to Blonde Bombshell. I can tell in the vial that it's probably going to be different, though. It's a different sort of yellow. Um, Van Diemen's is actually, I think they've gotten, um, like, the Australian, like, made in Australia, um, like, Australian certified, um, like, stamp of approval on their stuff now because they have, I think the email said they have, um, like, their, their inks are made with like 95% Australian materials and ingredients and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. Oh, this is kind of like a whole like Australia sort of thing. Cause we have Van Diemen's. I have uh, Robert Oster Muddy Crown. Uh, Van Diemen's Vampire Bat. I thought about getting bottles of some of these because there's a few that I think I'm going to really like, but I really, I pared myself down. I took the bottles of the cart and put samples in instead. Bonfire Night, which um, that is a reformulation as well. Tiger Quoll Prowl? I think this is a, well, judging by the text, it's a pretty brown. Two, four, six, eight, ten... Then we have uh, Dawn. I thought, okay, maybe there's 16 or 13. I don't remember. I don't remember how many inks are in the series. I also have Van Diemen's Moonlit Lake. Van Diemen's Shooting Star. Oh, maybe there are 16 in this set. I don't remember. Van Diemen's Midnight. Conklin Vintage Purple. Q 
Kiona Oto. This is one of the new shimmers. I like had mixed feelings about the other shimmer. Um, but this is Ginkai Ginkai Yo Ginkai Syoku? I would know that I said that incorrectly. It looks like a really pretty like bluish gray with some like silver shimmer in it. Or maybe yeah, I don't know what shimmer color it is. And then last but not least, Van Demon's Cherry Blossom. Cherry Blossom Dream, which is a pretty pink. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, four. Okay, so we do have sixteen eggs. Alright, I'm going to try to make as quick as possible. I actually have another swatch video that I filmed last week, but um, never edited and put up, so they might be out of order, but um, yeah, we're going to get started. Hope I grabbed enough cards. Uh, the placemat's gone because uh, I spilled dinner on it. I actually sat here for dinner the other day and I spilled stuff all over it and have to wash it, so um, yeah. Uh, okay. I'm not, should I do these in a certain order? I think I'm just gonna grab them as I go. I need a vial holder. We have, my closest vial holder is the little uh, octopus I got from, from Ink Journal. It's Ink -a Pet. 3D printed vial holders with accessories and other things. Um, I actually have another one from my friend Casey. Actually, that's over here with a kitty cat. But we're going to use the octopus because it's sitting right here. I'm going to start with this pink one because it's also sitting right here. It's a fairly pale pink. I don't think this is a shimmer. I think one of these is a shimmer. I think it's Dawn that is a shimmer. This was one of the ones that I was thinking about getting a bottle of, but I stopped myself because I have other pinks. And I got these from Vanna's Pens. So this is a really pretty pink. Cherry Blossom Dream. Gorgeous. Pretty pale pink. Reminds me a little bit of that Graph on Faber Castell Yozakura brush bristle. Get off. Thank you. A very pretty pale pink. Very, very pretty. Very, very pretty. Next up, I guess I'm gonna follow it up with another pink. We'll do uh, Van Diemen's Dawn. I can't remember if this is a shimmer or not, so I'm gonna shake it up. I thought one of these pinks was a shimmer. Maybe it's just like a dual shady sort? I don't know. I don't know, we'll find out. This is a pink. I feel like this is one that you'll be able to see from space. Maybe not. It just looks that way in the vial. It's a very sudsy ink. Hold on. More of a red. More of like a pinky red, reddish pink. I was worried for a second that it would stain, but I had to just, sw just swish it around in the water again, and it's fine.
color is pretty wild. Oh, look, can you see that? It goes down, oh, that's bananas. Is that sheen? I can't tell yet, it's still drying. But it's starting to look kind of like orange. Also, it looks like I've missed some spots. So I'm going to, this is bananas. I haven't looked at the description of any of these inks, so I'm not really sure like what they're supposed to do. Yo, this ink is crazy. I think it's Sheen, y'all. Oh, it's like freaking metallic Sheen. <gasps> Look at that. No wonder I thought it was shimmery. Holy cow. Okay, well, we're gonna let that do its thing drying over here somewhere. But it looks like really just really hot pink on the copy paper. That's terrible. Interesting. Um, I don't know that I have any other pinks. That's okay. Anyway, we'll just grab whatever. So we have Midnight, which I'm guessing is black. So we go from light pinks to dark blacks. I should probably save black for last. Nah, it's fine. I once again now have sample, at least samples of every Van Diemen's ink. Ooh, I got ink on the pen. It's very exciting. Oh, is it a dark blue maybe? It just turned the water blue. Maybe it's a dark blue, not a black. It looks black on my finger. It's a very, very dark blue. We'll see what the bigger swatch looks like. Maybe that is dark blue. It looked black. Very dark blue black. Very, very dark. Okay, I can see the blue. It's definitely very dark though. It's definitely coming off on the paper towel blue, like a dark navy blue. Okay, I was wrong, it is not black. It is definitely a very, very, very dark blue though. Pretty. Okay, next up I have Moonflower. didn't like make too much of a mess. I dropped it into the holder a little a little rough. This is more of a blue blue. What's it called? Moonflower?
kind of a purpley blue. Reminds me a little bit of, um, like maybe a more saturated version of like that dye mine nightshade from the infant. Since we're doing like sort of purpley blues, we'll do dusk next. I don't remember what dusk is supposed to look like. It looks kind of blue violet, like a grayish blue violet. And oh, pretty gray, maybe. That's gorgeous. Honestly, I can't get I can't get enough of colors like this. Um, lavender. Ugh, stunning. This one's not going to be for everybody, but if you love pale inks, and I know a few people that do, I think you're going to like this one. Gorgeous. That's really pretty. Again, probably not for everybody, but... I mean, it is for everybody if you like it, but I mean, I don't think everybody's gonna like it. Um, we'll do, no, I'm gonna save that one. That's a shimmer. We'll do Vampire Bat, cause that's the one I grab next. So I'm gonna shake it up. It's like a really dark, 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 bloody red. That's what it looks like in the cap. This is another one that I thought I might want a bottle of, and then I'm like, I have enough red inks that I barely use. Also, it seemed like it might be close to Vampire, or to Writer's Blood, but we'll see. This is pretty juicy, kind of like Writer's Blood. Um, This is stunning. I don't think it's as purple as Writer's Blood is, but it kind of reminds me of it a lot. I don't think it's as purple as Writer's Blood or as red as like, like brick colored as like Oxblood is. We'll see, of course, once it dries, but that's really pretty. Ooh, I'm going to have to put this in my Leonardo, I think. Gorgeous. Next up, we'll do, oh no, that's a shimmer. I want to save the shimmers for last, I think. I think this one, Night Owl. I don't know what color that is. This is Van Diemen's uh, Moon Jellyfish. I can't get it to come off my table. I can't remember if I've taken a magic eraser to it or not yet, but it wants to stay on the table. Oh. 
night owl this is a pretty like sort of reddish orange color i'm not sure if it's orange orange or reddish orange it looks reddish orange definitely getting some pink in that for sure Seems kind of dry. Oh, it's doing that metallic sort of sheen thing that the that Dawn was doing. Cool, but it's like orange. Very neat. Like it's not shimmery, but that sheen is like very, I don't know, it looks like foil to me, kind of. I'm gonna do Aurora Australis. This is actually one of the ones that I was thinking of getting a bottle of as well. Um, but then behaved myself because I have 77,000 purples. Um, I figured I'd wait and see what it looks like in person. You know, obviously I can always choose my, change my mind later and get a, get a bottle, but decided to be smart. I don't really have room for more bottles of ink, so I don't really need to be buying any more bottles of ink, especially when I have like half the states left to go. I don't even know how many states have been done yet. This is pretty. I'm not gonna lie, when I saw this on the website, this immediately made me think of Dark Lilac. Um, I don't know how it compares. I feel like maybe it's not Dark Lilac. It doesn't feel Dark Lilac-y, but it feels like it could be close-ish, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. We shall see. Although this, I think, is going to do some more of that metallic sheen. This is, Oh, this is really pretty, though. Maybe a little too much sheen for dark lilac, but... Stunning. Oh, I can't wait to see this dry. I cannot wait to see this one dry. Well, I can't wait to see all of them dry. I don't know why. I'm specifically saying that one. Okay, next up I have, is that a shimmer? I think it is. I might be getting down to the shimmers. Black and, oh, Black and C is not. Okay, we'll do Black and C next. Black and C is one of the reformulations though. It's a really, really, really dark. I don't remember if it was this dark in the original formula. But really, really dark tealy, like sort of tealy black color. All 
also shout out to any of the gamer friends who are here. Um, there's a few of the Twitch channels that I that I frequent, and uh, some of them found out about our pen YouTube channel here and have been visiting. So if you're watching this, hello pen friend, hello pen and gamer friends, I should say. Welcome new pen friends, because now that you're watching these, you're automatically a pen friend. Even if you're just watching. I should probably do like a video about like a beginner kit. I have gotten an idea for a like game inspired ink series, but I really have to like sit down and think about, think about what would be good. I had a couple of ideas, but like, how far do I want to go with this? <laughs> I feel like I have to, like, make a whole giant list of everything I can think of and then maybe pare it down. Do some self-editing. Gorgeous, gorgeous. These Night Series inks are just so rich. At least some of the, these darker ones, anyway. Oh, uh, Twilight Mist. Is this a shimmer? I think this is a shimmer. I think this is a shimmer. This is a shimmer. This is a shimmer. Don't recall if there were actually two, four, six, seven shimmers? Hmm, maybe there are. I don't know. Okay. I think it's time to change our piece of paper. just kind of use these to like scribble notes on. Okay, I will do, we'll start with the yellow one since that's the lightest. I'll find a clean brush that is not. Okay. Actually, I haven't used this one at all, so we'll use that one. It's a really pretty bright yellow with, it looks like golden shimmer. Not sure if, if this is closer to like golden barrel or um, like shimmering, is it shimmering sand from Diamine? We'll see. It's one of those really clear yellows though. It's very pretty. Bright but legible. That is what I like in a yellow. Although bright yellow does not make me think of night. Golden Orb Web. Hopefully got some shimmer on here. Could shake this up though just to make sure we get shimmer just to make sure we get shimmer evenly distributed in the swatch i still have to re-swatch that ferris wheel press ink just to see if i get more shimmer or not Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, what else we got? Okay, what did I grab? I grabbed red lightning.
really pretty. Very, very pretty. I like the shade of red a lot. Get a glowing on the brush. Very much shimmer here. Definitely a dry red. very much shimmer. I can't remember what the shade of red for ruby slippers was, but I know that there was a red. It did have like silvery pink. Oh, this is pink shimmer. Is it pink shimmer? Oh, maybe it's pink shimmer. Like red shimmer? Either. Oh, I love how it looks in the VPN. If you can see that. Oh, very pretty. I love the shade of red though. This is a really nice red. Um, okay, we will do this tiger quoll prowl. I think it's a, is it a bird maybe? I don't know. I have zero idea. Or maybe I just think it's a bird because quoll is making me think of quail. I don't know. I have no idea. I wasn't going to get these for the longest time. This is a really pretty brown, rich brown. Um, I wasn't gonna get these for a long time because I wasn't buying pen stuff. I'm still not really buying pen stuff. I just happen to have a little money. A little bit more of adulting left to do, but we'll actually have a lot of adulting to do, but. Tiger. Very rich, kind of warm brown, maybe? Looks warm in the, in the vial. I don't actually know if this is, is um, shimmery. It doesn't seem like it's shimmery, but. shimmery on the brush. Maybe it's not shimmery. Maybe it's just a really nice brown. So for those of you wondering why I do my cards like this, I do the horizontal strokes. I do the horizontal strokes because I like having that cleaner line. And then do I do like a third or like a half of the card like horizontal like that because that's just like a natural flow. And then I switch to the up and down strokes because it makes the cards dry straighter. They don't curl as much. So usually every once in a while, depending on like how I how how I've set them down, they might curl a little more. But huh. okay, it looks like oh there is some shimmer in here. Oh, cute! It's very subtle, but it's there. Unless, unless this is it's like a, I don't know. It's very cute. I'm gonna have to look it up just to make sure. I'll put in the description box. I mean, it does look like it has like some. It does look like it has some shimmer in it. This is a really pretty color, though.
looks like it might have some green sheen. Not in the, I don't see it so much in the swatch, but I see it in some of the text, like around the edge of that scribble. Anyway, we'll let this dry. We'll see what happens. There's um, some shimmer on the paper too. So I think it is a shimmer. I'm gonna have to look it up. I'm gonna have to look it up because we want to be sure. Whoops. Okay. Next up we have Moonlit Lake. I don't remember if this is a shimmer or not. It kind of looked like it was, but... These shimmers are tricky because when I put the when I pick the vial up, it looks like it's shimmery. Although I haven't been wrong so far. I'm just talking. This looks a lot like Black and Seas. So maybe it's Black and Seas with shimmer. Um, pan. Demons. is there's some sheen and some shimmer very cool you could see it in the writing i think very fun very very fun okay i have three more left Bonfire Night, which is another uh, reformulation. I can't remember if I have a bottle of this or if I had a sample. There was one of these orangey ones where I just ended up getting a bottle because I couldn't find a sample. And I was just like, I need to have, it was back when I was completing my collection of Van Diemen's Inks and I was like, I need to have it. Whether it's a bottle or a sample, I need to have it. That was my email, not yours, don't worry. Bon, was it Bonfire Night? Yeah. But it's a pretty orange with shimmer.
This is definitely more of an orangey orange than a reddish orange. Gorgeous. Then we have, I'm gonna do Twilight Mist. This is another reformulation. I re-dipped because it was, looks like it was getting pretty light. Even though it didn't look like I really, I still had like ink on the page. Oh, definitely not that one. I feel like that's lighter than twi the first Twilight Mist, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't think I've used Twilight Mist that often. Hopefully I got some shimmer in there. I can't tell if I did or not. Maybe it's not shimmer? I thought it was shimmer. I can't tell. I can't tell. Sometimes I pick up the vial and it looks shimmery, but then I shake it up or even just tip it a little further and it's not, so. It looks like there's some shimmer on this watch, but that could have been from the brush. I have no idea. I need to get more paint brushes so I can do like one for each ink instead of having to rinse them out. Um, last but not least, we have Shooting Star, which if I remember correctly is sort of reminiscent of like Emerald of Shavor maybe? Or maybe that was the Moonlit Lake. I don't remember. But we're gonna swatch it and find out. That's why we're here. Okay, I got this from Fanas Pens. More blue. Actually reminds me a little more of Tempest. Very pretty. Okay, I'm gonna let these finish drying. As you can, see, oh, you can see the shimmer on this copy paper. Oops. See, that's Twilight Mist. 
Shimmer on this copy paper, though. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay. I'm going to let these dry, like I said. We will then come back. I will show off the swatches, and uh, we will compare. Oh, I had one card left over. I almost grabbed the perfect amount of cards. Um, we'll compare it to, um, like, some of these that are reformulations or that I think are close to inks that Van Diemen's already has. Um, if I can scrounge up some comparison cards, I will. We'll see. Um, I'm not making any promises about that. I think we might just compare it to the to the Van Diemen's line. I really need to organize my stuff. <laughs> I need to organize my stuff. Anyway, I will see you in just a moment. And um, yeah, we are back. Hi, everybody. It's Amanda, and we are back with our um, Van Diemen's inks. So I don't know. I might need to turn the big light on. We'll get the shadows. Yeah. We're going to get the after dark shadows, but I think that you'll be able to see the inks a little better. Okay, so I'll kind of try to show them over here out of the way of the shadow. I wonder if I can like zoom in and move. But no, that's not going to work. Okay, never mind. Okay, so I'll try to show you these uh, colors. Hopefully they come out accurately. I've got a little bit of that yellow overhead light, so... Um, this looks orange, but it's a really like, it's a like orangey pink. It's basically a pink with like, like a pinkish red, but with like, it's not even like sheen. It's like a haze. It's a haze. I don't know. It's an interesting color. And then we have red lightning, which is a this pretty red with like a pink shimmer. Very sparkly. Then we have bonfire night which is orange with an orange shimmer. It's very subtle, like it's all over the place, but it's also like not in your face as much as like having a heavy shimmer ink would be. Um, same with this uh, Tiger Coal Prowl. Again, it's shimmer, shimmer that's matching the color of ink really well with a green, with a green sort of sheen. Um, this is kind of what I want that diamine winter spice to be. Like, this is still wintry and spicy, um, cozy and comfy. Um, I like it. I like this matching glitter. Then we have moonflower, which is just, it's a nice blue. Dusk, which is, it looks like it's a really, really light lavender, like a grayish, like a purpley gray. We have night. Or sorry, we have Midnight, which is a very, very, very dark blue. Looks like there is some sheening, like some haloing around some of the text if you get a lot of ink in, in a spot. It's very, like, opaque. Twilight Mist, this is completely different than the original version. This is like purple with a purpley sort of shimmer, like a pinkish purple shimmer. It's very pretty, but um, yeah, definitely different than the original. We have Moonlit Lake, which is very, it's like a teal with like this massive red sheen. And then like a, then like a, I'm not sure if it's like shimmer. Well, I mean, it is shimmer. I don't know if it's like silver or if it's like a green sort of shimmer, like a sort of teal shimmer. It looks blue on camera right now, but it's more teal. It's very pretty. Vampire Bat, which is this real pretty um, dark, dark red. Cherry Blossom Dream. I love this so much. It's so pretty. I'm going to show that one last. Night Owl, which is this. It looks kind of similar to Dawn, but it's definitely orange. This is more pinky red. This is orange. Blackened Seas, which definitely has more sheen than I think the original version did. Here's a, a Golden Orb Web, which is this pretty yellow with yellow shimmer. Like sort of gold shimmer. It just like sparkles. The whole thing just sparkles. It's like subtle, but also everywhere. I love it. Then we have that Aurora Australis. I have to admit, I do not like the green sheen on this. 
I don't know if it's just because of how much I applied to the card or what, but this green sheen, this is the kind of sheen that like overtakes the color. So you can't even see the purple box like underneath it. Um, I'm going to have to try this in a pen to make a final decision on it, but I'm glad I didn't get the bottle right off the bat. And then we have um, a shooting star, which I thought was going to be like Emerald of Shavor, but it's too blue. It reminds me a lot of, oh, I didn't get my cards from the ink vent. It reminds me a lot of, um, I think it was Stargazer from that set. I love it. It's blue with the red sheen and this gold shimmer. It's very pretty. It's really pretty. Okay. Sorry, just had a sneezing fit. I did get a few cards. I pulled a few cards. Um, I'm missing some of my Van Diemen's cards. I keep all my Van Diemen's inks on one um, coloring, and I've been doing like a lot of comparisons and stuff and not putting things back, so my cards are all messed up, and I do not have all of my Van Diemen's inks because I have, as of now, after swatching this set, I have cards for every Van Diemen's ink, including discontinued ones, so... They're just not on the ring where they're supposed to be. But I did grab some comparison cards and we will go ahead and, and look at those. I also grabbed some comparisons from, I found some ink samples, swatches that I thought reminded me a lot of a bunch of these. Not a bunch of them, but some of them. So I pulled, actually I want to see this too. Okay, we'll look at that one too. Okay, I'm going to start off with Vampire Bat because my comparison card is right on top. And I mentioned Writer's Blood, and this is, I still say this is like a tad more purple, but they're very close. This one is also very wet, but it seems like it might not be as wet as the Writer's Blood, but they're very similar. So if you have Writer's Blood, you might not want the Van Diemen's Vampire Bat. I like them both. Um, Yeah. I kind of want to put this in a pen that I had the writer's blood in so I can kind of compare the flow, see which one, see if it's similar enough. But yeah, um, it's, it looks different enough to me that I could, I could make a case if I really wanted to justify it of getting a bottle of vampire bat, but they are, it is very close to writer's blood. So if you have writer's blood, you might be okay. So um, there's that. And then um, Golden Orb Web. I thought this reminded me a lot of um, Golden Barrel, but in looking at it, not really. Not really. This is definitely more kind of orangey because it's got like some of that sheen on it. The gold is even kind of different. Um, let me move those over so they're not in the shadow. Um, so yeah, so if you have Golden Barrel and still want another shimmery yellow, I think that you would be okay. I don't know how this compares to Golden Sands. I didn't find my shimmer ring, um, so I, I can't pull that one. Or it's in a pile of stuff that needs to get sorted. But um, yeah, I mentioned Golden Barrel. It's not really anything like Golden Barrel. I did grab some of the other Van Diemen's yellows, however, because I thought they were it might be close to one of the other one of the other yellows. Actually, I thought it was really close to that one, but this is like way completely, completely different. Then there's Beeswax, which is actually kind of close. So beeswax, beeswax may be, um, I don't know if it's an exact match for the base color, but it's similar enough. And then we have apple cider, which is maybe a little more brown. <clears throat> so there are those. Um, next up we have comparisons for dusk. Um, this really made me think of cat at dusk, but it's actually pretty different. Um, it also sort of made me think, uh, when I was pulling cards, I found um, Fuyu Shogun, which is kind of lighter than that, and also Kirasami, which is, it's definitely cooler than that. Um, I think I got this to compare to something else, but that's what it looks like next to Dusk. Definitely more blue. Um, oh, I also thought maybe Tono and Limbs Trust You, but this is way more purple. Definitely way more lavender. And then Dusk in Bloom is definitely more blue. And I also grabbed Milky Ocean, but I think I thought that was a match for this other blue. Definitely different. I think I thought it was going to be close to this one. Here's Dusk in Bloom and Neko Yanagi. And did I grab the blue? I did. Here is Cloudburst. 
also from Van Diemen's. Blues are different. This is from the Tazzy Seasons line. This is one of the spring colors. Different, but still, still blue, still blue. So if you have, you know, I don't know, unless you want to collect all of them or you, I would, I can see differences. Um, next up we will compare Cherry Blossom Dream, which is that beautiful light pink that we started with. Get these out of the way. When I tell you this table's a mess, I mean, it's a mess. Um, it reminded me initially of Yozakura from Graphon Faber Castell, but you could see it's definitely lighter. And then I found a couple of other pinks. Um, here it is next to, um, Pilot Roshizuku Kosumosu. Again, also a little darker, a little more saturated, maybe a little warmer even, um, but very pretty. And then here it is next to, um, Pink Fairy Orchid, which is, I believe, one of the season's lines. I think it's spring, perhaps? I think it's spring. I think it's one of the Tazzy Seasons. It's spring. So this is definitely a cooler pink. This is a warmer pink. Very pretty. I think they complement each other very nicely. Um, yeah, I think if you really like pale pinks and you just want two pale pinks, I think you'd be happy. You should, you could be happy getting either one. Um, this is definitely a warmer pink. This is a cooler pink. So if you have a preference towards warm colors or cool colors, you might like one of these better. I really like this one. <clears throat> I'm finding that in my pinks, I don't mind cool pinks, but I tend to go towards warmer colors for pink, but I don't like them to be orangey pinks either. Like, I don't know. I'm picky, I guess. I'm picky, I guess. Picky about weird things. Um, I mentioned red lightning. I thought it was, um, similar to ruby slippers, but here's where you can see how the shimmers are very different. This is very, um, it's a very dense shimmer. It's very fine, but it's very dense. It lays down a lot and there were, I know I had didn't, never had clogging issues with any of the shimmers that I put in here, but, um, I think I've heard of other people having, um, having, um, having issues, but yeah, I think the, um, I think the shimmers are very nice. I like this red. I like this pink, pinky red shimmer. Um, yeah, they're different. Um, obviously this is discontinued. It's from the Hollywood series that no longer exists, but, um, yeah, if you run out of this, it's definitely, if you run out of this, this is not going to be a replacement unless you just happen to want to try this or like this better or whatever. Um, yeah, that's what that looks like. Um, next up I'm going to look at, okay, Twilight Mist. I've already addressed this. I said it looked way different. Um, this again has that silver shimmer and, um, the color is even different. The color, um, is definitely much different. I also brought out Spotted Sun Orchid because I thought it might match closer to that, but it doesn't. Um, yeah, actually Twilight Mist, actually no, even Twilight Mist is different. This is not the same color. Um, yeah, so I know that Sue over... A little bit of a lot is that what it is I always mix her channel up her channel name up I know this is one of her very favorite inks and um, now that they've reformulated it this is definitely not the same so definitely different um, yeah hope you found some <laughs> I'm saying that but I know that she found some um, okay black and seas this is the new formula um, obviously because it's a night series this is a teal ink it's looking kind of blue on camera. Um, it's teal ink with this red sheen. You can definitely see it in the scribble as well. It's more of a halo on the scribble. Um, it's very dark. It's very saturated. Looks very different compared to this. Um, this is the original formula. This looks, um, definitely has way more sheen, first of all. Um, the color looks a lot richer. Like the base color looks a lot richer, what you could see of it. Um, I could probably see it better in person than you can, but um, yeah, it definitely looks like it's a lot richer, um, and yeah, so that's, that's that comparison. I like both. I don't have a preference. I just have samples of this one. So, um, yeah, so I, I don't have a preference. Um, 
Aurora Australis. Here's this one. This looks like, oh, there's so much. I must have loaded this. I might need to do another swatch card of this because I don't, there might be too much on here. Um, but it did kind of remind me actually of Royal Starfish. It's different purples, but a similar green sheen. And I don't like this ink because of that green sheen. Although I've used it in a pen, the writing's not as bad. But this writing actually, it looks green and purple. So I don't know. Not my favorite, but that's okay. I also grabbed Sea Urchin because it also has a, a green sheen. It's a different, it's a different purple. It's really hard to see. It's a really, really, really dark purpley gray. And um, I think, oh, I also grabbed, because of the green sheen, Colorverse uh, Pillars of Creation. Um, this one's a little easier to read. The sheen doesn't take it over as much um, when you're writing with it, but yeah. I need to get this in a pen before I make a final decision, but this card is not my favorite. Um, let's see. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? I didn't grab anything from Midnight. Do I have... Yeah, I didn't grab anything from Midnight. Uh, Moonlit Lake will compare, um, because some of these... Here's Twilight Zone from the Underwater series. It's very close. The d base colors are slightly different, um, but they're very similar. Then I also grabbed Bioluminescence because this is like a tealy with sheen and shimmer. It's a different color shimmer. Um, yeah. I have to say that I like the look of the new Van Diemen's shimmers. Um, it looks really nice. I also decided to grab um, this Colorverse um, NGC1850 because of the shimmer and um, all that stuff. The shimmer again, very subtle, very different. Um, a lot more sheen on this one. And then I did mention Emerald of Shavor, comparing that to Shooting Star as well, but here it is next to Moonlit Lake. My swatch card looks weird in this lighting. Um, this base color, I think, is closer to that than I thought Shooting Star was. This reminds me, oh, I should have grabbed the card. I don't know where it is, though. Um, that Birmingham Pen Company, I think it's Galactic Twinkle. Um, and then I also have my um, Stroke of Midnight Ferris Wheel Press. Um, this shimmer, actually, this shimmer looks a lot like, this looks like a, a lot like Midnight if Midnight had shimmer. Where's Midnight? Oh, maybe not. Not at all. Never mind. I take it back. Um, but the the shimmer on this is very subtle, um, and actually it looks nothing like that. So, never mind. Um, yeah, that's all I was able to find. I know that I want to compare Bonfire Night. I know that the but I can't find my card for that one, and um, yeah, there I didn't really have comparisons for the other ones, but. Yeah, this is definitely different. Um, the gold shimmer is, it's the same sort of texture as that ruby slippers, except it's gold. Oops, that's the wrong one. Yeah, it's the same sort of texture, but it's gold, I think, instead of silver. And, um, well, obviously orange, but yeah. I like the new shimmer. I like how it looks. It looks really pretty. Um, it doesn't seem like it's going to clog anything. Again, I never had problems with the original clogging, but I, I know that other people have. Um, the only time I had like a problem with it was when it clumped together in one of the underwater bottles that I got, and I had to like break it up and then mix it up. That's the only time I ever had an issue. I never had a problem in a pen. Um, but just when I opened the bottle the first time. But I like the texture of the shimmer. It doesn't seem, it seems like it's really fine. It doesn't seem too chunky. Um, off the glass dip pen, like there was shimmer in every letter. It's very pretty. It's very, very pretty. I like where they're going with this. And I'm really excited for them as an Australian, well, Tasmanian and Australian company to um, be able to have like their stamp of approval from the country. And I think that, I don't know, I think that's great. Like you, us in America, we see all this made in the USA, blah, 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 blah. You know, when you see that, it's I'm not trying to be like all patriotic or anything, but like a lot of people are like made in the USA, blah, blah, blah. Um, um, so yeah, so it's kind of like that for Australia, I guess. I don't know. Maybe they're not as, they're probably not as American about it as they are here. You know what I mean? You know what, I, you know what I mean? That's a dumb sentence, but you know what I mean? You know what I'm getting at? Um, yeah. 
I don't know. I like the new texture of the shimmer. I like how it looks. I can't wait to get it in a pen and try it. I don't know which one I'll put in a pen. Maybe that red. We've got Valentine's Day coming. I don't know. Or maybe that shooting star. I really like that shooting star. Whoops, that's not it. Well, I don't know where the card went, but yeah, shooting star. I think maybe that's the one that I'll put in. Ah, oh, here it is. Maybe that's the one I'll put in a pen. Anyway, I like it. I enjoy it. Um, did you have a favorite that you saw? Um, let me know in the comments down below. Um, yeah, I hope that you have a wonderful day and I will see you again very soon. Take care. Bye. -bye.